All right. Looks like we're live. One sec. I got to check the uh, check the volume meter. Make sure. There we go. Ringer's on. All right. Boom. Look at us go. YouTube liven. Gotta love the YouTube live. I'm trying to figure out the best way to hold the camera so that the live chat doesn't get in the way. There we go. Heck yeah. Gonna wait for some folks to join here. I've got, uh, I've got the stream rolling on my phone here and then I've got my computer set up down there. Boom, look at this stuff. We're gonna put my phone on do not disturb mode real quick. If I can do that, how do I do that? There it is. All right, we're back. Had to put the phone on do not disturb. Welcome everybody to the Strike King giveaway. Um, welcome, welcome, Riley, welcome, Jack, welcome, Isaiah. How's everybody doing? Haven't shown you guys much of my new uh, room yet. I guess it's not really new. I've, I've been here for, you know, 10 months so far. Seven months, eight months, but been here for a while. Thought that I would do a little live stream to give away all the stuff that you guys are waiting for. So 187 people, good deal. We're gonna see if we can get to like 300 before we start uh, talking questions, but uh, before we even get started, my name is Tyler Anderson. If you are new to the channel, welcome. The, uh, the channel's kind of blowing up lately. I didn't even post really any viral content. I think you guys are finally realizing the type of fishing content that you guys want to watch uh, is the stuff that I make. And so I appreciate that. I appreciate all you guys watching and tuning in. I'm still in college. I have two and a half more months of school. I am I'm almost done. There's, there's a part of me that wants to stay in school, but a, a large majority of me, 99% of my body and soul, uh, desires to be graduated, and so I only have a few more months to go. So very, very excited. And as soon as college is done, I'm a full-time YouTuber. I get to pursue this full-time. I get to make videos for you guys three to four times a week, heck, maybe even more. I am very, very excited to be a full-time YouTuber. It's been a long time coming, but I'm very, very excited. So one part of kind of my new fishing journey is a partnership with Sort sort of with Striking, it's with Lou's and Striking. They're part of the same parent company, and so I get Striking products as well as part of my deal with Lou's. So I have a large box of Strike King stuff here. As you can see, we have uh, we have Rage chunks. We've got Greg Hackney jigs. We've got Greg Hackney flipping hooks. All the jazz. All the good stuff. All that jazz. Uh, we got. Oh, look at that. We got we got cutter worms. Some of the best stuff. That's. That's that's not striking. Get that out of here. What is that doing on my box? But tons of stuff here. I'll be giving away a whole care package of you know ten or so bags of soft plastics and lures to uh, to a lucky two of you. I may decide to do more. We'll see. But uh, at least two of you guys are gonna win. And if you're curious, Tyler, I'm tuning into this live stream. How do I win uh, this stuff? Well. All you have to do is go to my YouTube video that's in this description here. So in the video description of this live stream, you guys just kind of scroll down below with your finger, with your mouse. You guys can find the link to my official giveaway video where I unboxed all this stuff. The official unboxing video. All you've got to do is head over to that video, drop a comment, uh, your favorite video you've seen of mine or a video you would love to see me make in the future. So I'm going to give you guys a few minutes to do that, probably at least 10 to 15 minutes while I answer fishing questions, uh, and then we will get to the giveaway. I will be giving away two of those care packages, so probably you know, 10 or 12 baits or so, and then I'm also going to be picking two alternates. So if your name gets called as an alternate, you will... Uh, you will not necessarily win something. I might send you something if I do get in touch with the first two. But in case I can't find contact info for the first two, the next guys will be in line to uh, get that stuff. So let's see. Answer some questions. We are four minutes in. Might as well. Uh, might as well go for it here. We had a question here. I have the the live stream pulled up. Let's see. How do you get fishing sponsors, asks Ethan Haraway. So fishing sponsors is quite an interesting topic. I am actually very, very comfortable talking about this, and that is why I made a 20-something minute video on how to get fishing sponsors. So if you haven't seen it, I think literally all you have to do, let me go on YouTube. I'm going to search how to find, uh, if you just search Tyler sponsors, let's see if that comes up. Oh, that didn't work. Okay. Well, I assume if you just search how to get fishing sponsors. Let's see. How to get fishing sponsors. 
boom, mine is the first one that pops up. So it has a whole bunch of fishing sponsors on the thumbnail. I guess I could show you guys, but that's kind of my video. It's 17 minutes long. It's one of my favorite uh, favorite videos I've ever made. I think it's, be it's because it's so applicable to you guys. Uh, definitely important. We definitely lost some people here. We had like 230 people, but now we got 177. Whatever. They get, don't get to find out if they win. Um, let's see. Some more questions. Have I ever fished the Detroit River or Lake Erie? I have not fished the Detroit River or Lake Erie. Uh, not yet. I hope to very, very soon. Lake Erie, especially. I've heard Detroit River is good, too. But uh, I really, really want to fish Lake Erie. Um, how big, how is college easy or hard? So you guys may not know, I go to Texas A&M University. This is my Aggie ring, Giga Mags. I've got all sorts of, not in the background, all sorts of Aggie paraphernalia around here. I love college. It's awesome. And to be honest, college hasn't been hard. I, I consider myself a pretty intellectual guy. Um, I really, I mean, I, I'd say that the freshman year of college was hard, but Beyond that, you kind of learn how college works, you learn how to study, and it doesn't really become that hard. What's hard about college is having to balance your work life, your school life, with your fun life. And sometimes, in, in my case and in some other students' cases, your actual work life as well. So my job happens to be making videos for you guys and representing the sponsors that I have. But a lot of kids actually have to get jobs in college, and so college, in my opinion, is not necessarily as much about... Um, getting good grades. Now, if you're going to be an engineer or a, I don't know, some kind of high tech job, some kind of computer engineer, then yes, you definitely need to get good grades. That's important. A doctor needs good grades, but I'd say for the majority of majors in college, it's more about learning time management skills, learning skills that will help you become a better person and that you can learn without going to college. You can definitely learn those. I'm not saying college is for everybody. Uh, I'm definitely going to make a few videos near the end of my college experience here in the next few months, kind of detailing my thoughts about college as a whole, whether you should go to college as a fisherman, that kind of thing. But I loved it. I love the traditions of Texas A&M, how big it is, how fun it is. It, uh, it's definitely a fun time. So we had a few more questions about how do you enter the giveaway. So if you, if you just joined the live stream, welcome. Uh, you have to click the link in my bio. It goes to my official giveaway video where I unboxed, where I unboxed all this stuff. And then you got to comment on that video, uh, a video suggestion you want me to make. So whether it's an instructional, whether it's a music video or a video you liked that I've already made in the past, kind of your favorite video of mine. So that's all you guys got to do. Let's see. You have a tournament on Ray Roberts next Saturday. I wish I could give you some tips. I don't know a whole lot about Lake Ray Roberts. A dream place I'd like to fish. Man, I want to get out there to where John and Perrick and Chris have been uh, to the Komodo Islands to catch GTs. And that's not me trying to copy them. I've had Indonesia, that area, on my bucket list for a long, long time. And so just catching giant GTs in amazing, amazing scenario, you know, scenery is definitely something I want to do. But... One thing that I don't think anybody's done yet is fly fishing for those intense species. And so I know that fly fishing is not necessarily a huge thing on my channel. I don't intend fly fishing to ever become huge on my channel, but I think there's a certain level of um, challenge that is in catching giant fish on the fly. And so whether it's tarpon, whether it's uh, GTs, whether it's, you know, sailfish, I want to catch some giant, giant fish uh, on the fly. Let's see. I need some more questions. Best catch I've ever got. That's such an interesting question. The best catch that I've ever got. Hmm. And my girlfriend's a pretty, pretty great catch. You know, got, got, I got her. She's a good catch. But, man, best fishing catch. Honestly, it's probably the catch from my last video, from my tournament. It's, it's the most important tournament catch I've ever had. I did hook a bass in my senior year high school state championship that I lost. That would have been my most important tournament catch ever. That would have made us win the state championship. But I lost that one, so it doesn't count as a catch. This one I did catch, the 7-pounder uh, the with 30 minutes to go. So if you guys have not seen that video that I released, I believe it was yesterday or two days ago, highly recommend it. One of my favorite tournament videos uh, of all time. Why LTB instead of MTB? So I get asked all the time, why am I with Lucky Tackle Box? So here's the story. Lucky Tackle Box and Mystery Tackle Box started at a very similar time. They were, I think they were two or three months apart. I think Mystery was first and Lucky was second by a few months. And they basically are the exact same company. They have a lot of the same products. They're both starting to make their own brands. But Lucky Tackle Box approached me about 
one week before mystery. So I had both of these companies four and a half years ago in front of me to decide between. And I took Lucky Tackle Box instead of Mystery, despite all of the big YouTubers, or at least a lot of them being with Mystery, because I saw the potential for business growth and business development in my own life with Lucky Tackle Box, and that has far succeed, exceeded my expectations. I've loved working with Lucky. They are awesome people. Uh, if you guys ever want to try Lucky Tackle Box, I highly recommend it. Uh, the people there are great, and uh, I love the product. So. Make sure you guys have gone uh, gone subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the respect, KMS. Yes, I don't like to ditch companies just because uh, because of money. And I'm not not trying to out anybody here, but there's a lot of people out there that will do stuff just for the money, and I'm not one of those guys. Uh, do I have any plans to visit any local high schools and speak? I would love to do that. I would love to do that as soon as I graduate, but right now it is just it's impossible. I'm having trouble keeping up with school and videos and worship and having a girlfriend, and it's, it's hard, it's a lot of stuff. I love it, it's a, it's, a, it's a good life, but I don't have any time for any extraneous stuff right now. So as soon as I graduate, y'all, I'm telling you, it's going to be so much fun. Very, very fun. Um, I guess it's been a few minutes since I last explained. If you wanna enter the giveaway, click down in the description below. There's a video, you have to comment your favorite uh, video of mine or uh, a video you'd like to see me make. So make sure you guys go click that link in the video description. Will I ever consider doing Alabama, Gunnersville, Seminole, etc.? So I have actually made an entire series called the Sweet Home Alabama Tour. It's a ton of fun, I highly recommend it, it's on my channel. I fished Gunnersville, I fished what else did I fish? Some lakes in Tennessee. It's, I, I feel like a lot of my tours that I take, the Monsters of Minnesota tour, blah, 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 uh, they're not actually solely in that state. So Sweet Home Alabama tour was actually half in Tennessee. But you know what? It, it's fun anyways. <laughs> it's 300 viewers. You are right. But you guys, are in, you guys are asking some good questions. I'm trying to find some things. Can I convince Nick to come to Arkansas for you? Not sure which Nick you're talking about. Um, am I going to go pro? This is a question that I get asked all the time, and to be honest, I don't know the exact answer, but I do know an answer right now, and the answer is no. And here's the reason for that answer, because I, in my position as a YouTuber, have gotten to know a ton of fishing professionals. I mean, some of my mentors like Brandon Palinuk, Alton Jones Jr., Randy Howell, I've gotten to know these guys so well. Josh Bertrand, uh, James Elam, I've gotten to know all these guys, and they've all told me that what I'm doing, the video side of things, the YouTube side, working with companies, having fun making videos, is so much more fun and less stressful than being a pro. Now, do I love fishing tournaments? Yes. Fishing tournaments is fun. I'm never going to stop that. There's plenty of local uh, tournament trails around Texas and the Southeast. I've still got the coasts. I've got the opens. But I don't think I'm going to try to go pro, at least not for five or ten years, uh, because even though I know I have the drive, the skills, and most importantly, the sponsors to get there, I just don't see myself living that lifestyle. I, I see a family in my future, and I see stability, and it's really hard to achieve that when you are fishing professionally. Now, a lot of those guys make a lot of money, and that's really you know appealing to make a lot of money from sponsors, from the industry, from winning tournaments, but when you think about it, you have to beat 80, 150, 75, whatever the, the thing is, the, the, the tour is, you have to beat those best anglers on your tour in the entire planet. And I just don't feel comfortable right now in my life risking it all to beat those guys. There's a reason why Kevin Van Dam is the most highest earning bass pro of all time, because he's still the best. I'm not comfortable enough to, at 22 years old, try to beat KVD in a tournament. Now, could I? I'm sure I could. But I'm not comfortable building my living, building my family on, um, on tournament fishing. So I love college fishing. The reason why I'm doing college fishing is because, one, it's relatively free. There's like zero entry fees, and if there is, they're like 20 bucks. You just got to pay your membership, and you fish for free. So basically, you're just paying for gas, lodging, and food. Uh, so it's, you're getting the high-profile, exciting tournament experience without actually... Um, losing any of the money in tournament entry fees. So sure, you can't win as much money in college fishing, but it is, uh, it's a ton of fun, so I love it. The, yeah, it costs a lot to be a pro bass fisherman. I don't think a lot of you guys realize 
Being a pro bass fisherman is not a glamorous lifestyle. You may look at Scott Martin, Brian Latimer, Jacob Wheeler, Mark Daniels Jr., Dustin Connell, look at those guys and think, wow, they're living the life. They are, you know, doing crazy things in the fishing world. But to be honest, they're not living the life of luxury. They're staying in sketchy hotels. They're staying, they're, they're dropping, you know, their boat off by themselves without anybody to fish with them. It's not a glamorous lifestyle. It's fun. And those guys, you'll talk to them. They wouldn't trade it for the world. But professionally fishing, let me tell you guys, it costs about $80,000 a year. If you're to fish on the Bassmaster Elite Series, it costs you $80,000 in one year that's just expenses. That's entry fees, gas, food, and lodging. So that's before you even make anything. So let's say you had zero sponsors, which is not, of course, true. But let's say you had zero sponsors. You would have to make a check in every single tournament to even break even, to not even make any money, to break even. So that is why sponsors are so, so important, and uh, I just don't see myself living that pro style. Uh, lifestyle, but that's kind of the long winded answer, but I'm definitely excited to uh, be a full-time youtuber So very very excited about that. Let's see what we got You're getting a guy to Lake Amistad very cool. Have I ever caught an umbrella? I've not caught an umbrella. I've caught an umbrella rig. I've caught uh, I've caught plenty of uh, umbrella rigs What's my opinion on girls going into college fishing? Oh, you're oh, so you are a girl asking that question So here's here's the thing the fishing industry, I would say, for the large majority, is not sexist. Just like America and the large majority is not sexist, we're not racist, we're not bigots, but there's a small majority of America that is. There's a small majority of the fishing industry that I wouldn't necessarily say is sexist. I would say there's a small majority of people that aren't familiar or aren't comfortable quite yet. I don't know why. I think it's great. I think females in the fishing industry is incredible. I think we have people like um, Natty up north. She works for Major League Fishing. She is a fishing influencer. I think that's awesome. Uh, people like Laura Ann Foshi have been doing this for a long time in terms of representing women in the fishing industry. Trait Christ, uh, awesome example of that. I definitely think there's a place for women in the fishing industry. There's no no question in my mind. I wouldn't worry about it. If your question is, should I worry about jumping into college fishing because of the sexist comments, I would say, if you're a good fisherman, you're going to prove it. Or fisherwoman, sorry. You're going to prove it. And so just go out in the water. Have fun with your fishing team. Uh, we have some awesome female anglers. I know it's SCAD has a women's team. I know that Campbellsville University has a fishing team. Um, one of my friends goes there. She's a girl. And so I would say just go for it. I wouldn't worry about uh, any sort of sexist comments. Because if somebody's going to target you for being a girl, uh, that's their problem. That's not uh, definitely not your problem. Somebody asked, what is this thing on my hat? This thing on my hat here is the Angler Tracker. Now, I've talked about this in the tournament video that I released a few days ago, but the tournament, I mean, the, the angler tracker is a cool button that basically allows you to mark your fish catches on the water. So, cool thing about the tracker is that, or the bullseye, sorry, you stick the bullseye on your hat like that, it sits there, it doesn't fall off, and uh, it has a two-year battery life that connects to the mobile app to basically mark your catches throughout the day. So, I will be doing tons of stuff with the angler tracker the next few years. And let me tell you, the angler app, we are, we are going to take over the fishing industry. Forget about Fish Brain. Forget about every other fishing app you got. Angler is going to, uh, to take over. Angler and Bass Forecast are by far the best fishing apps out there. Have I picked the winner yet? Asked Colby. I have not picked the winner yet. I'm going to pick the winner in, uh, in about five or six minutes. So make sure you guys are uh, getting ready for that. But the way that you guys can enter if you guys have joined in the last few minutes, welcome to the live stream. This is the giveaway. All you have to do is go to the link in my description down below. Click that link. It should say, comment on this video, link to be entered to win. You click that link uh, and then it'll pull up the video. Comment in that comment section any video you'd like to see me make, whether it's an instructional, uh, underwater videos. Oops. Sorry, my, my phone was low on battery. Underwater videos, that kind of thing. And then, uh, or, or any of my videos you've liked in the past. One sec, my phone just told me it was low on battery. So I am going to walk into my living room real quick and get a phone charger. Uh, Walter has been having issues with his bullseye. Walter, uh, email Angler and they'll get you set up. You shouldn't be having any issues. Is Rhett watching? Is Rhett watching? No, he's not. That's all right. <laughs> it got too long for my roommate. Let's see. 
Have I heard of Barry Wilson? He fishes the FLW. I have heard of Barry Wilson. I believe I know. I don't think. Ah, uh, maybe I know Barry Wilson. Uh, red and white lucky 13. I'm not sure what that means, but. Uh, let's see. You're going to do a. Wait, I should do. I should do a vid with KVD. That'd be sick. If Kevin, if you're watching this, I know you're not because Kevin Van Dam does not watch YouTube live streams, but if he did. Okay, here we go. We're going to plug my phone in here. Hopefully it doesn't connect to. Uh, Connect to iTunes. Uh, nope, don't want to install that. Would it be recommend? Would you recommend others to start on YouTube? You want to start influence others to begin fishing, but you don't want it to be a waste of your time. So I get this question quite often: uh, Should I start a YouTube channel? The answer is always yes. The internet right now is at a point where there is so much open space for people. Now, the fishing industry is starting to get a little more cluttered, so it is not going to be as easy for you to gain subscribers and gain followers as it was when I started six years ago. It was a lot easier back then, and that is why me, John, Flair, Perrick, all these guys, Fluke Master, were able to gain so many subscribers because... It just happened that way. It was it was our, our our channels were the first ones out there. So it's definitely harder now, but it's not impossible. If you can find a niche to explore uh, and to make videos in, that is definitely going to uh, be successful for you. Let's see. I'm trying to get my phone to be charging. Sorry, folks. Sorry, I'm a little bit distracted here. Oh. Oh crap. All right, we're back. Sorry. Had to plug in the phone. Recommendations on fishing pliers. Man, I don't really have any uh, any recommendations on pliers necessarily. I think I've got a pair of musthead pliers. I've got a pair of uh, eagle claw pliers. I don't even know how many of those, but let's see. When am I gonna fish with the microwave man? Carson, am I gonna meet you at the Classic? Are you, you're up in that area, right? I think you're in Tennessee. Carson, hopefully I get to meet you over at the Classic. What is the best early bass fishing baits? So early spring bass fishing baits. Man, that's kind of a pretty wide topic because it depends where you are in the country. But early spring is usually my jerk bait, my rattle trap, and my Carolina rig slash Texas rig time of the year. Uh, mostly uh, jerk bait and rattle trap. So I love throwing those. I love throwing those things. Favorite Bible verse. Favorite Bible verse is Psalm 37.4. It is delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. That means a lot to me because I know that when I put my faith and my trust in the Lord, he will give me the things. It's not a, it's not a put your faith in him and he'll give you stuff. That's not the kind of thing. But it, the Bible does say that when you put your faith in him, he will give you the things that you need. And when you don't put your faith in him, it's a lot harder for you to acquire those things. So I just love that verse. It means a lot to me. Video on my faith. I, uh, I'll do that pretty, pretty soon, I assume. Uh, I just don't know how. I, I get you know, religious on the channel all the time, but I don't know how, uh, how often I want to, to do that. Let's see. Do I get any, I got a question. Do I get any hate for being open about my faith on the internet? Matter of fact, I do. I got three comments today that were flagged on my channel for inappropriate language. I have a, a filter on my comment section, so if you guys comment some nasty stuff, it actually won't even show up on the comment section. I got three comments today, uh, basically people cussing at me for, for praying before the tournament. So I get hate on a daily basis for being a Christian, but that's, that's, it, it, it happens. Like Jesus told us, when you follow me, you will be hated. You will be killed. You will be outcast because you, because you are a Christian, but it's worth it because I know that following Jesus is what this life's about, bringing glory to him, and so I'm not going to shy away from that. So if you have a problem with that, let me know. We can talk about it. We can have a discussion, but uh, leave your negativity at home, please. Do I make my own lures? I have not made my own lures yet. Now, in middle school, I did make a few of those plastisol molds and poured the stuff in it, or like the clay molds, but that didn't go anywhere. I didn't really make that many. All right. I'd say it's time. It is time to do the giveaway. So one last chance. If you have not, if you have not uh, found yourself in the comment section yet, go ahead and drop the comment. I'm going to head on over to my channel. I'm going to get the comment randomizer youtube comment randomizer 362 people heck yeah all the people that left it earlier too bad for them uh and like i said i will be picking two winners to win a assortment of baits so probably 
I don't know, probably like that many per person, probably 10 or 12 per person. It'll be soft plastics, it'll be jigs, it'll be hooks, uh, all that all that jazz. So let's see, randomcommentpicker.com. Looks good to me. I'm hoping there's no, uh, hoping there's no pop-up ads in these dumb websites. All right, I should go fishing with Ken Smith. Yes, I definitely want to. And when I do pick the two winners, I will also be picking two alternates. That way, in case... Uh, in case I cannot get it in contact with the winners, I will uh, contact the alternates a few days later. So I definitely want to get this stuff out. I'm not doing a giveaway just to make it a sham and not give anybody anything. I want to have a few options. That way uh, you guys can, can win some stuff. One sec, let me get the giveaway video pulled up. Let's see. Good luck in the college series. Thank you, Bryce. All right, here we go, folks. One sec. Give me, give me a second. I gotta, I gotta pull up the video. I wasn't quite ready. Use, use ad blocker. No, no, Jordan Lee. You're not. First off, you're not the real Jordan Lee. And second off, don't use ad blocker, because when you guys use ad blocker, I don't make any money. So why would you not allow your favorite YouTuber to make a living? That's just, that's dumb. Watch a dang ad. Come on. All the YouTube creators. I don't, I don't understand ad blocker. I really don't. Ad blocker's dumb. You're being selfish. I'm calling you out. Get out of here. You're not. You're not winning this giveaway. If you if you use ad blocker, you're not winning this giveaway. I can't promise that, but I hope nobody wins the giveaway that has ad blocker. Someone said that he needs money. Heck yeah, I do. Life runs on money. I'm not rich. I'm a college student. I pay for everything. Um. Okay. We are going to. We're gonna. I'm gonna try to turn around the phone here. Let's see. How can I turn around the screen? All right, boom. We have the video pasted. Get YouTube comments. All right, it is loading all of the comments. Here we go. Here we go. 1,432 comments. If you didn't comment, you are late. You are too late. Oh, one sec. Start the raffle and pick a random winner. I assume, I assume this is the button. Now, if something pops up here that is a pop-up ad, I apologize. I'm using a sketchy website. Not my, uh, not my problem. Here we go. Start. Boom. Boom. Oh, Adam Wiles. You are the first winner, Mr. Adam Wiles. All right, I'm going to open up his channel link in the description here. Adam Wiles, that is you. You have three subscribers. Your purple thing. So Adam is the first winner. All right, here we go. Pick another winner. Boom. Good luck. Drum roll, everybody. Drum roll. Drum roll. Oh, Hampton Shoal. He said, I want to see you catch a... Yeah, I can't even tell on the screen. There it goes. want to see you catch a 10-pounder in your next video, but really anything will do as long as you're in it. Hampton, you are you're a real dude. Let me tell you something. I'm going to screenshot your comment here just so I know it's yours. And I'm going to open your channel as well. Alton Jones Jr. gave a dollar ninety-nine. One sec. Before we continue, well done, Alton Jr. Thanks for the thanks for the give. Thanks for the the money. Alton Jr. is making bank. Everybody knows. Hampton, you have eight subscribers. That is your channel. All right. So now we have the two winners. Here are the two alternates. In case I cannot get in touch with the two winners, pick another winner. Start. All right, here we go. Joe, Jesse, you are alternate number one. I would love to see a Rod and Real Arsenal awesome video. God bless you. God bless you, Jesse. I'm going to screenshot your comment, and I'm going to open up your channel. Boom. This is Joe Jesse. Look at you. Joe Jesse looks like an adult. He could use some of these plastics. And then one more. This is one more alternate. Pick another winner. Boom. Start. Matthew Jefferson. I suggest fishing Lake Nasworthy here in the center of Texas. Good sized fish. They're hard to find. Tips on bank fishing this lake would be helpful. All right. Mr. Matthew Jefferson, you are alternate number two. We're going to open your channel as well. All right. Looks like we have all of the winners. Now, don't go anywhere, folks, because I had a question, a very, very important question. Let me get some water first. <coughs> I was sick last week, so I'll have, uh, 
all of this sickness is coming up. If you did not, if I can't get in contact with any of the people, I will still do the giveaway on Instagram. So I will do an Instagram comment randomizer. So I'm gonna post, if I, for some reason, can't get in contact with any four people that I picked, I will be on Instagram and I'll post a picture of me holding all of this tackle. So make sure you guys have followed me on Instagram. It is Tyler's Real Fishing, just like the rest of my channel. And I will be, like I said, just in case I can't get in touch with them, I will be giving away that to two people in the comment section on Instagram. So hopefully I can get in touch with Adam or Hampton or Joe or Matthew, and uh, and then we'll get going. So thank you guys so much for watching. It is a pleasure for me to make these videos for you guys. Of course, if you haven't seen the previous videos that I dropped lately, make sure you guys do that. Uh, one thing that I love to talk about is liking and commenting on videos. YouTube ranks videos based on engagement. And engagement basically means the amount of likes a video gets, the amount of dislikes, sadly, um, or the amount of comments a video gets. So whenever somebody says, hit the like button on this video, you may think, I don't wanna hit the like button. But really, it does nothing for you, it, against you. So like button just does stuff for the, for the creator itself. And commenting really, really boosts the video. So always hit the like button on the videos. I'm not gonna be somebody that yells for you to smash the button, it's not my personality, but really liking the videos, subscribing to this channel, and please, please hit the post notifications. That is so, so important. Thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna drop a, another video probably on Tuesday or Wednesday talking about the spinnerbait, my least favorite lure of all time. It, uh, definitely my least favorite lure, but we learned a lot about fishing the spinnerbait at my Sam Rayburn tournament, and of course, if you missed those videos, click over, uh, in, I'll, I'll link them in the video description as well, and we'll see you guys on the next episode of